I'm pleased to open the last season, the last session of this interesting and long day. We have uh, two speakers in this session. The first, the first one is Professor Bezalel Porten. Bezalel Porten has degrees from the Jewish Theological Seminary, Rabbi and the May, as well as Columbia, Columbia University, PhD. He taught at the University of California in both Berkeley and Davis before making Aliyah in Israel in 1968. Professor Porten retired from the Hebrew University as a professor emeritus in 1998. He has completed his sabbatical years at, New York at York University in Toronto, Yale University, Cambridge University, the University of Sydney, the University of Pennsylvania, and the, Jew the Jewish Theological Seminary. He has written 10 books and over 100 articles, either individually or in collaboration. His areas of interest include Bible literature, the Jewish community at Elephantine, and, and the Edomean Ostraka. Professor Porton will speak today about Yao and its cognates in personal names, the problem of Yama. I remember walking from the elevator to my office and I would pass Shakade's office, and there he was sitting with scholars, and this was long after his retirement, and I would still come to the office every day, um, and uh, on another occasion, I met with somebody, name was Siam, I forgot his first name, and he wrote with Shakade an article on the amulets, and I wrote with Shakade several articles, articles in which I spoke about Iranian names in the Aramaic papyri, and of course Shakade was my reference. Those of you who are familiar with Hermopolis papyri will notice that there are no Jews mentioned in those names. So the names are a sign of identity. My assistant, Matthew Kletzing, is so modest that he failed to put his name here, and so I wish to thank him for helping me put this thing together. Pre-exilic, we see Yahoo. And where does Yahoo begin? El Shaddai was the patriarchal name, and then Yahu, the El Yaakov El Shaddai, Ushmi Adonai, Lo Nodati Lahem. So Adonai came in after. This way, okay. So none of the spies, the 12 spies, bear a Yahoo name. And here you can see those names. And we call attention to Hosea bin Nun. And Moshe changed Hosea bin Nun to Yehoshua. And Yehoshua is not an abbreviation of Hosea. Abbreviation Hosea would be Hoshaya. And Yehoshua, Yeho, is a nominal sentence name, and Hosea is a verbal sentence, name, abbreviation. Now, 
That was a sample of names from Jeremiah 36 to 38. We can see Yoshiao, Sitiao, Sfanyao, Dalyao, and special attention should be named, noted with Yeho Chao. And we'll see why shortly. Now, taken from Densky's recent article, Three Tier Names, we see that a seal from Arad, a seal from Jerusalem, a bull from Lachish, a seal from Jerusalem, a bull from Jerusalem, all have Yao names. The Vech Yao, Shlem Yao, Shlem Yao, Sfan Yao, Matan Yao, Machse Yao, Shmayao. A number of Densky's Jewish names email list. Ruvain Chaim Klein asked the question, on 15th December 2022, why is it that when the divine name Yah appears in Tanakh, the letter He always has a Dagesh? But when that divine name appears in a theophoric element in a personal name, the Dagesh is missing. Now, in three Samaria Ostrica, we read Gadiao, 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 instead of Gadiao. In northern Israel, namely Samaria, the hay a Theophoric proponent has been assimilated to the following vav, thus creating a new diphthong, ow, that did not reduce to o. And so, taken from Achituv's book, we have the Samarian Ostrakan 13 and 14 and 21. <coughs> each of which has da yo. Why does somebody get to use this and I can't? So we have Shmar Yao instead of Shmar Ya. And again, in northern Israel, Samaria, the He has been assimilated to the following Vav, creating the diphthong Ao that did not reduce to O. And so we have Shmar Yo and Shmar Yao, and the same thing. Again, Shmar Yao. Okay, help me again. Now, the female names are to be found with Yeho at the beginning. And in Elephantine, you know there's Yeho Yishma, a leading woman, 
And here in the can in the Yehoshama, Yehoshama, Yehochein, Yehoshama, Yehoshama, Yehochein, Yehochal, Yehotal, and Yeho Eli. So Yeho was a popular element in female names. Now you remember Yehochal in Jeremiah. Well, Yehochal appears in unprovenanced Ostrica from Idumea as a clan name. And the name Yehochal has five spellings. A full one, Yehochal, and a defective spelling without the verb, an abbreviated spelling without the he, Yuchal, and then even with an olive, Yehochal, or without the vav, Yochal, and in Greek we have the spelling Yochal. So is this a Jewish name or is this a pagan name? Now, in the post-exilic period, we see that Yahoo, in this example from Ezra 2nd and 8, 1 to 12, and 10, 10, 4, and 5, and Nehemiah 3, all the names end without a vav. And we can just take the first one as an example. Isaiah ben Maaseiah ben Ananya. What happened to the vav? So, for example, at Elephantine, we see the same thing. Here is a list of witnesses. Plaliau, Zechariah, Marseyah, Zechariah, Shmayah, Yedaniah, Malkiah, Marseyah, Reuya or Deuya, Marseyah, Yeshaya, Zephania. None of these witnesses have names that end in a vav. So Yahu has been abbreviated both in Eldrinia Maya and in Elephantine to Yah. Now, here is that Yohal name that we see in the clan, one of the clans in the Idumean Ostrica. And they're all Yatiabu, Yitiab, Kosner, Kosinkom, Koslansur, 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 Kos, 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 whether you take Abd Osiri, here's Osiris, the servant of Osiris. Zabd Ada. Not one of these in four generations restored. And whether it's five generations restored, none of these has a descendant, Yao. So what is Kos Yachal, Yehochal. Here we see an example, one of the Idumean Ostrica, Yatiyabu, son of Yehochal, Yatiyabu, son of Yehochal. 
And here is a <coughs> true ostrica, which is azure, Yohal azure bray. So azure ben Yohal, and the same thing here, azure ben Yohal. Yohal and Azur Shmo This is an argument for Yohal being Jewish. So Yohal could be one of the clans in the Idumean Ostrica. There are five clans that are known and one of the clans who is Jewish and has non-Jewish names, non-Jewish sons. Now what about Yama? Yama is the way Yehoha, Yeho is expressed in the Babylonian, not Ostrica, but clay tablets. Now, what does Yama mean? So Yama names and their biblical equivalents. And this is taken from Kusas 28, which is a book by Laurie Pierce, who's with us today, and uh, Vrunch on pages 13, 308 to 311. And here we see one example, Yarim Yama. Yama is exalted, Yarim being exalted. So this is the equivalent of Hebrew Yer Miyah. And here are several examples of Yama names that have biblical equivalents. So we see, it's hard to see it up here, but Yishaya ya, Yama, and this is another Yama, <coughs> and here is a third, and a fourth, and a fifth, and these are their Babylonian equivalents the BE are texts that are in the British uh, in Pennsylvania. Nadab Yama, Nab Nati Yama, and here Nadavya, here Miki Yama, Mikhayao, Nair Yama, Neriya, Padi Yama, Padaya, Palatya, Palatyama, Padayama, all these Yama names have biblical equivalents. So Yama is the way they expressed Yao names in Babylonia. Samachyama gave birth to Rapayama, Smachya, Rafaya, Nir, Nirya, <coughs> and Chaga, Chagai. And here, Yama will also be expressed by Yahu. Yahu Aza, Yehoahaz, and Yahu Izri, Yahu Ezer, and Yahu Shu, Yahushu, Yahushua, maybe. So this is the genealogy of Achikam and his family. Yahu names it Elephantine. And 
So there are 11 different yama or yao names of different kinds. There were names with an Aramaic predicate, yao shuri, yao is my bulwark, shuri being the Aramaic word for wall, and Hebrew names not found in the Bible or inscriptions. Gala yama, yama redeem, gala, glu, Sapa Yama, Yama has kept watch, Sapa, Tsifi, and Yafa Yahu, Yahu, Yahu shone forth or appeared, Yafa, and then names with Akkadian predicate, Dagal Yama, Yama looked upon Dagal, and then the most interesting thing is Yahu Shad Utsur. Yahu protect the king so that Yahu could appear as the divine element in an Akkadian name. And you would have Nabu Sharu Tsur, Nabu Sharu Tsur, Nabu protect the king, and Yahu protect the king. And this is a name that was born by somebody at the top of the uh, social ladder. And then there are unattested West Semitic names. Katib Yama, what does Katib mean? And Pigla Yama, what does Yama Pigla mean? <coughs> An uncertain meaning. Lichim Yama, Manuni Yama, and Uchli Yama. We don't know what they mean. Closing thoughts. I end with questions. The next one. Why were Yahoo names abbreviated to Ya? Both at Elephantine. What does it mean that the scribes at Elephantine follow the same tradition as the scribes in the Bible? And finally, how do we pronounce the ending yama so that it comports with the spelling at Elephantine and in the Bible? And I hope that the question and answer period, you will be able to answer those questions. Thank you. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. Yeah, about the question of Yahu, Yahua, Yahua, Yahu, Yahu, because the final final A is not pronounced uh, in uh, these uh, transcriptions. M, uh, intervocalic M originally uh, uh, stands for W. So you, you have Yahua theoretically, on the face of it, uh, uh, looks like a rendering of Yahu. Like a rendering of, of the of the North Israelite uh, form with Yahu without the H, and the H was uh, generally very, very quite uh, weak for the uh, for the uh, um, uh, for of the of the yeah the the, the H which is not expressed in uh, in Yawa, Yahu. Uh, was probably heard very weakly by the uh, Akkadian scribes. Anyhow, uh, we, you have you missed uh, the uh, uh, equation. Um, uh, uh, I think pili uh, pili yaau, which is written pili yaama for pili yau, uh, and, and uh, in Aramaic it's it's, it's written playa, peila med yudhei. And then you asked about Lichimaya. This is Nehemiah with, uh, with um, dissimulation, because both uh, L and, uh, and M are liquids. So the N has become L. The initial N has become L. 
But you don't have to answer the question of how does Yama accord with Ya. Uh, you are I correct. You are correct. Uh, what I think is that they had two different traditions. The oh, scribes. You think it, the, the, the scribes. They had two different traditions. The, 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 Achaean, the Babylonian scribe had a, probably a manual of foreign, foreign theophorous elements. We happen to have some manuals, some such manuals, where Ya'au, Ya'au Ma, Ya'au stands for Ya, for Yud Hei. And the same scribe wrote, wrote a, a, a name with Ya'au Ma, and uh, at face value, Ya'au, and uh, um, uh, Playa. Uh, Piliyama and, uh, and uh, Playa. This is my opinion. So at Elephantine in the Bible, they both ended with Ya, but in Babylonia, they had different traditions? No, I said, I said that they, this is a late uh, rendering also in the Bible. So they, they followed the, what the, the later books of the Bible are doing about Ya. But they had the notion that the uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, the, the divine name in the handbooks was, was hand, ends with, with Au. Yau. With, with, with a very uh, weak uh, age. And in Ezra and Nehemiah and in Elephantine, they end in Ya. Tom? Well, as I said, it's in late biblical Hebrew, in the late books of the post-exilic books of, 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 Hebrew in the, of the Hebrew Bible, and in the Fantine the, 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 there is a, a complete, almost a complete echoed. Both write mostly the, the divine name with Yah, at the end of the, of the name, as a second, second component of the name. That's my question. Why is it that Elephantine and in Ezra and Nehemiah the names are all both ya. I think this is an abbreviation for for um, ya, yao and uh, maybe uh, they dropped the the the, the vowel for abbreviation is an abbreviation. And ya appears also as in as, as a independent element in in poetry. Well, you're still not answering the question. Now the uchli yao, uchli yao is the oli yao. Like okay, thank you. Do, do, do we have other questions or remarks? It is wonderful to hear you talk once again. I'm sorry. It's, no, it was, uh, it's, it's, it's incredible what you're doing at your age. Um, my mom would be so jealous. Um, <laughs> I don't think I can answer all your questions. Uh, I have one observation and one uh, attempt at an answer, and that is the the question of the yama. Why does uh, why do you find yama in uh, in these uh, Babylonian documents? And I think there is a certain uh, pattern there that you can observe. Um, you find uh, either Yahoo at the end. In rare cases, ya and mostly yama. So it mostly it's the difference between yahu and yama. And if you look at what is the origin of what is the Hebrew equivalent, they are the, the short forms ya that were apparently, and I have no real answer to your question, but those short names like Yirmiya, um, Gedalia were transformed into, or transformed, were written as Yama. And I suppose also pronounced as Yama. I am not convinced by the explanation that takes the Mem as a Vav. I know, of course, Amelu, Avelu, uh, that is possible, but it's, it would be very striking if you get Yahweh or Yavu names. In, in. So there is a pattern, although I cannot really makes sense of the ma. I don't think it has an independent meaning. Then there is one observation I just wanted to make, and because I, I, I actually, Laurie, um, Laurie, we have the one who is responsible for all this, Laurie Pierce, who is, who is who's 
so I should not be speaking, she should be speaking. But I recall that the name that you mentioned, Yahu Shar Utsur, and indeed that's a very remarkable name, of course, but the same man occurs also As with the name well, Marduk Shar Utsur. Marduk, right. Marduk right. Shar Utsur. Right. So, Bail Shar Utsur? Yeah, okay. Bail. But, it, well, I find that wonderful. I find that wonderful. How do you explain that, Lori? I thought I had my teaching voice on, sorry. Um, I, so the, the Shar Utsur names are these Ba'amtan Namen, these, these professional designations. And these are people who had some status, not particularly high, but some status in the royal service. Um, my understanding of the Baal Shar Utsur, Yahu Shar Utsur, and it, I'm convinced it's the same guy. It's, a, it's, three, it's three little text group. Um, I think the scribe understood that Yahu was the head of the pantheon for this group of people and therefore substituted Baal because that was his, it was his, um, his orientation for the head of his pantheon. Okay, I'm gl glad somebody read the book. <laughs> um, no, but in, in, it's a little group of three texts. It's one Baal Shazar and two Yahushar Utsur. If I remember correctly, there are two different scribes involved, but it's the same scribe writes Baal and Yahu. So I think he just substituted up. Oh, that's the head of this group's pantheon, and uh, therefore I'm just going to write Baal because it's... Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So Baal is Yahu. Baal is not a, a deity, but Baal is...